Hi, this is Arthur Hill, Senior Technical Analyst with StockCharts.com. Today's introductory video will get you started with using chart lists. Here are the topics and the timeline for today. First, we'll give you a little intro and we'll give you some organizational tips. Then we'll show you how to access your chart list. Then we'll go over the process of creating a new chart list. Once you have a sharp chart, we'll show you how you can save that to a chart list. Then we'll go over the different chart list viewing options. And finally, we'll show you the different ways you can edit your chart list. Introduction and organizational tips. Chart lists are online folders that allow members to store up to 500 charts in a single group. Now note that you must be a member to use chart list and the number of chart lists depends on your membership level, which I will show later. Before we create chart list and add symbols, we need to think about a naming convention that we're going to use to keep a certain order to our chart list and to our symbols that we have in our chart list, the names of the charts. And so here I've got a list of chart list and you can see the names on the left here and each name here is preceded by four numbers and that's to put a certain order to these different categories that I've created. So I've got 3,100 preceding the sector ETF chart list and then below it 3,500 preceding the industry group ETF chart list. And so that ensures that my chart lists are organized in a certain order. And keep in mind, this is just to give you an idea of how you might want to order your chart list. Now within the chart list, you're going to have different names for each chart. So you have a symbol and then you have the names. And I've done a similar thing with the names in the chart list. So my major index ETFs start with 1000 and then they're numbered accordingly. And then the sectors start with 3000 and then are numbered accordingly to keep a certain pecking order within my chart list. And this makes it easier for the analysis process. Accessing your chart list. The first place that you can access your chart list would be from the members page. And there's a link to the members page at the top of every web page at Stock Charts. And here on the left, you have the control center and a link for your chart list. And you can see I'm using 19 of my 350 possible chart list. And to access any of these chart lists, simply click on that link. Creating a new chart list. On the members page in the Your Chart List section on the right hand side, you will have buttons or links to edit, add a new chart list, adjust the settings, and a link for instructions. So if I click Add New, I can put in that list name and I can create a new chart list. I will then get the new chart list and I will be in edit mode and notice all the possibilities at the top. You can select a different list, you can edit, you can delete, you can add a new list and you can get instructions. So if I want to add some symbols to this new list, I will go to the symbol entry box, put in symbol and then I will put in a chart name and you can add comments too if you would like. So I click add chart and boom, there I have 1001 Dow Industrials as the first chart in my chart list. There are other options for adding symbols to your chart list. You can see here, if I want to add many, then I just enter a list of symbols separated by a comma here. And you would do this if you're not concerned with the order in which the charts will appear on your chart list. But it's very easy to quickly add a number of symbols to a new chart list this way. Saving a sharp chart to a chart list. I'm here on the sharp charts workbench and I've created a sharp chart for ITA. And if I want to put that in a particular chart list, you can do that with just a couple of clicks. Here is the save as link just above the sharp chart. And if I click that, I will get a pop up. And there you see in chart list. So I can choose the chart list that I want to put it in. And I'm going to put it in the industry group ETF chart list. And then I can also put the name that I would like. And I'm going to prefix it with 3500 for industry group ETFs. 
IN for industrial sector, and then the name of the ETF. And I will click add new, and that chart will now be in that chart list. Chart list viewing options. Chartists can access the different viewing options from a sharp chart by clicking the view all link in the middle. Alternatively, you can go to your members page and your chart list and you'll see a view as link in the middle and you can choose one of these viewing options. So here I am in the 10 per page view and you can see some drop downs there if you want to move to a different chart list. You can also change the view and look at all the viewing options that are available. Candle glance, RRG, seasonality, market carpet. I recommend you try those out to see how you like them. We also have links to edit, to delete that chart list, to add a new chart list and for further instructions. Over on the right, you can see auto size charts is checked and that means the charts will resize according to the width of your browser. Now you cannot annotate your charts when that circle is checked. And if I uncheck it, then I can annotate. And you can annotate using the actions link on the right. And there we have edit chart settings, annotate, delete, and other options. Editing your chart list. There are a number of ways to edit your chart list and I'm going to show you one of my favorite ways here. I'm on the 10 per page view for my chart list here and I've got a first chart here ITB and if I want to edit that name at the top I just click on that name and it becomes active and I can edit it so I can add ETF to the end and save that. Also at the bottom you have a place for notes and I can edit those notes by simply adding and saving. You can also go into edit mode on your chart list by clicking on the icon with the pencil for editing. You can also go to the members page and work on your chart list there. Here I am on the members page showing all of my chart list and there's an edit link for all of the chart list at the top right. So if I select that link then I can check one of the chart list and delete it if I would like or I can add a new list. You can also access the chart list editing mode by going to the view as link next to each of the chart list and clicking edit list. And that concludes this instructional video to get you started on Chartlist. Be sure to check out our other instructional videos and thanks for watching.